Hello guys and gals, it's me, Mojo Daddy Mystic, and I'm back with another groovy, groovy reaction. And on this one, we are going to take a look at Uriah Heap for the first time on this channel and for the first time for me. I have never heard a single song from this band. I don't know anything about this band. So this is a first time for everything reaction. So I got a little bio pulled up here and I'm just gonna read it for those that uh, don't really know that much about this band. Uh, that would be me. So let me just read this bio and uh, Let's get into it. Uriah Heep are an English rock band formed in London in 1969. Their current lineup includes lead and rhythm guitarist Mick Box, keyboardist Phil Lazon, lead vocalist Bernie Shaw, drummer Russell Gilbrook, and bassist Dave Rimmer. They have experienced numerous lineup changes throughout their 52-year career, leaving Box as the only remaining member. Notable former members of the band include vocalist David Byron, John Lawton, John Sloman, Peter Golby, and Steph Fontaine, bassist Gary Thane, Trevor Boulder, John Wenton, Bob Daisy, Paul Newton, and, jo and John Jowett. Drummers Nigel Olson, Lee. I can't. Oh boy, I'm going to butcher this one. Lee Kerslaki and Chris Slade. And keyboardists Ken Hensley and John Sinclair. 52 musician 52 years of a career and a whole heap of musicians it's like Steely Dan where they only had, had two core members but a lot of studio musicians but this was all their obviously all their lineups uh, throughout the years Uriah Heep have released 24 studio albums of original material 20 live albums and 41 compilation albums Okay, two greatest hits albums, and it says here, it goes on to say, I'm not going to read their whole bio, um, 12 of the band's studio albums have made it to the UK album chart. Return to Fan Fantasy reached number 7 in 1975, while of the 15 Billboard 200 Uri Heap albums, Demons and Wizards, was the most successful from November 23, 1972. Uh, the late, in the late 70s, the band had massive success in Germany where the Lady in Black single was a big hit. Okay. So does the song The Wizard come off of the uh, album Demons and Wizards? Let's take a look here. And I love prog rock album covers. They are some of the most creative and inventive album covers of all time. From Rush to Emerson, Lake and Palmer to Yes to Demons and Wizards. It's fantastic. It's otherworldly. Let's go to track listing. Yeah, so it's a single off of Demons and Wizards. So we are going to listen to or take a look at a performance of The Wizard from Demons and Wizards. First time for Uriah Heep. Let's see what they have to offer, shall we? Let's vibe. I 
think this is one where I have to listen to the whole album. Starts acoustically. You guys are have to tell me who's the band members are. He was the wizard of a thousand kings. Okay. And I chance to meet him one night wandering. He told me tales and he drank my wine. On my man. <laughs> it's my favorite already. Just for the boots alone. Oh my god. What do we listen to? This has to be, this was in 1972, so I'm thinking this is, that was fantastic. This has to be, I know it said progressive rock, but this is glam rock all the way, man. 72, those boots. I don't know who, you gotta tell me who was playing the guitar. Who was playing the acoustic guitar? Look at the boots he was styling. You know he got some after that performance, after that night. Oh man, that's what I'm talking about. That is classic rock, man. Glam rock, progressive rock. Obviously, you guys are going to have to tell me. Uh, I'm going to have to go and listen to the whole song in its entirety. Kind of get into the mind frame of what this uh, song is all about. Uh, obviously great storytelling. I love, love songs that uh, that make you wonder and just just leave your, make you just drift off and daydream about what they're saying. And I, I, I get the feeling that this is one of those songs. But I was just too distracted on those boots, man. Oh. <laughs> The 70s, man. What are your thoughts on The Wizard by Uriah Heep? Two thumbs up. Two peace signs up for me, man. First time, it was amazing. Let me know your thoughts. This is your Hippie with Harmony Mojo Daddy Mystic. Wishing you peace, love, and happiness. Until next time, stay groovy. I'm going, but I need a little time. I would drown myself in mystic heated